Okay, welcome back to our uh, last uh, video for this uh, training session. And this one's going to be about um, restraint of a person um, causing uh, harm to themselves or a threat to others, which is basically um, uh, self defense. You, you're defending, we're allowed to defend another. Okay, so let's go into um, the main thing here is. Uh, what do we do about a person that is going to be doing is doing self harm to themselves? Okay, well, that could be anything. It could be anything from a person trying to cut themselves, okay, and commit suicide. Do we have a right legally to stop a person from doing self harm where it could lead to death or something like that? Absolutely, okay. It's within it's in the boundaries of the law. Okay, we can stop a person, okay, from doing self harm to themselves where they could it could lead to death or serious harm to them okay and also if they are uh, endangering other people's lives in the same uh, at that point as well okay now we need to be realistic if a person's got a knife okay and they're cutting themselves or doing something with a knife they're holding it to their throat and things like that we have to be very careful okay um, again got to remember that that person has a deadly weapon okay possibly that can not only harm them but it can harm you so again you don't have pepper spray you don't have a taser okay um, you don't have a police dog um, or anything like that where you can take the person out from a distance okay um, and what I mean by take them out, I mean stop them from doing harm to themselves because we're not trying to hurt them, right? They're trying to harm themselves or others, but we're trying not to hurt them, okay? Um, otherwise, what would the point be? There would be no point. So, if the person's got something dangerous, like let's say uh, Teresa comes up here, let's say for example, Teresa's got this piece of glass here. Okay, she's got, we, just, we just found this lying around in the garden. There's a whole number of pieces. And people might find something that's just um, local, that's somewhere close to them. Okay. Okay, let's say she's going to do self harm. Okay, she's got something sharp. I can see what she's got. Okay, obviously, the first thing we do is we keep a safe distance. This would be too close because she's got a sharp object. She might attack me with it. Okay, so I need to be at a safe distance away, okay, where I can talk to her and obviously we're going to do the body language thing, we're going to do talk to her, find out what's wrong or, you know, try and talk the situation down, okay, find out what we can do for her to make things better so that she doesn't want to do this anymore, okay. Now when we're doing this type of thing, it's like with the last video with, um, a person doing damage with a weapon or something like that or any weapons when we come across them make sure you got a an exit out okay you gotta have a have a way out all right don't don't block yourself in at any time so the best thing that we can do here with a person with a sharp object like this is we need to be concerned about our own safety first at all times okay safety first don't just go getting into it because you want to try and help this person you need to consider your own safety and the safety of others first, okay? You're more paramount than this person here because they're putting themselves in it. Don't put yourself in it, okay? Keep a safe distance. Call for backup, okay? Call for um, police assistance because they're going to have the gear to do the job, all right? Um, they can also get professionally trained uh, negotiators in to talk to this person. Okay. Okay, so that's really important. I wouldn't try and take this person, stop this person from what they're doing with a sharp object like this, unless I thought I could handle it. Okay, but more, it's better to be safe than sorry. Don't. I wouldn't get probably get myself into it if she's got a sharp object like a razor blade or a knife or a bit of sharp glass like that. Okay. It would be dependent on what I would do. I could basically do the last technique that we did, where I go to shake her hand, okay? She puts the thing in there, and we go and do the technique that we did last time, 
in the last video. I'm not going to do it now because you can have a look at the last video. We could do that. That would be reasonably safe. But we have to take, we're taking a risk. Every time we get closer, we're taking the risk that that person might rush you. Okay? So you have to make a determination yourself. I can't tell you how to, whether to do that or not. You've got to make those decisions for yourself. Okay, next one. Let's say, for example, she was trying to do something completely different. Like she wanted to jump off a, off a building or something. Jump off the balcony or jump off the roof or something. Okay, that would be a different story because now she doesn't have a weapon. Okay, she might be just threatening that she's going to jump off the building. Okay, so I might, you, obviously, same thing, keep the safe distance. Okay, you got to be really careful because you don't want them pulling you over the side of the building either. Okay, <coughs> and you're going over with them. So, normal story, talk to the person. Okay, most things can be solved by talking to a person first. Try and talk them down, use your body language, it's okay, you don't need to jump, no one wants you to jump, what can we do for you? Okay, how can I help you? All right. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can figure out a, a solution. We can we can find an answer to your problems. Okay? We need to talk to this person. Same thing again. If I wanted to um, if I wanted to stop this person from jumping, I don't know. Let's imagine she's um, standing on the edge there somewhere, just get, get, getting ready to jump. Let's say you're facing the other way, facing that way. All right, she's, she's on the side of the thing, okay? And I'm talking to her. Hey, look, you don't want to jump. You don't, don't, don't jump, okay? All right? What's the, what's the problem? You can't understand. Sorry? You can't understand my problems. Well, do you want to tell me about it? And, I, and, I'll, and I'll see if I, I can help you out. I'm sure we can help you. Okay? What's your name? Uh, Teresa. Teresa. Teresa, my name's Glenn, okay? I'm one of the security guards here, okay? What's your name again? Teresa, is it? Yep. Okay, my name's Glenn, right? So that might be an opportunity where I start putting my hand out, okay? My name's Glenn, it's nice to meet you. Right? Right here, I've got her, okay? She can't jump from here, okay? I can start to pull her in. All right, and I could go into a technique from here. Okay, what techniques can we do? Okay, because she's here, I could do anything. I could be pulling her in and go straight into here. Okay, and then come around. All right, we could do that one. She could go to shake my hand and I could come straight in. All right, and pull her back. Okay. Numerous techniques we could do. We could pull her in and start to come up into here. Alright? Another one. Okay? So there's lots of techniques we can do with the uh, handshake to stop Teresa from jumping over the edge with just uh, introducing ourselves. Okay? Alright? What if she doesn't want to shake my hand? My name's Glenn. What's yours? Teresa. Teresa, hi Teresa. I want to shake, shake my hand? No. It's just customary. You know it's customary in our country. In our countries to shake hands. Thank You're not my enemy, are you? You're not my enemy. Friendship. It's a sign of friendship. It's a sign of friendship. Come on, I'm not going to do anything to you. I just want to shake your hand. There's nothing I can do by just shaking your hand. Come on. Glenn's my name. Oh yeah. Alright, and we go from there. Okay? <clears throat> so, I'm pretty certain that while I was saying all that, she'd completely forgot about jumping. Alright? Because she was too busy talk, thinking about, should I shake his hand or not? Okay? Um, if you've got the numbers there, you can have another person come around from the other side. Okay? So you can imagine here, Teresa, Imagine Teresa standing here, okay, she's looking at jumping, and I'm here. Hey, Teresa, you want to shake my hand? 
Right, if I'm here doing this, another person could be coming from the side. Let's just move freezer over. Okay, so if I'm doing this and trees is facing me, I'm on this angle. Very hard for her because her peripheral vision is lost from this side. Okay, next person can come in, okay, and bang, got her. Alright. Why are we taking it, going for the top here? We're going for the top here and pulling them back because this is the easiest way to take a person off balance. Alright, the human body is upright like this, okay, in a vertical. So we need to take the highest point on the person's body is the head. So if we bring the head back, the body starts to bend straight away, okay? Where the head goes, the body must follow, okay? The body doesn't have a choice. Wherever the head goes, the body must follow. If the head comes off, then that's the only time the body doesn't need to follow, okay? So we always take the person from the, the head and we always try to get them under the neck here because you've got that whole part of the throat area here where you can't, the hand can't just come out, okay? It's a lot easier to lock in. Okay, let's look at another one. What if, let's say, uh, some people want to walk out onto the road and walk into cars, they're drunk, okay, or they're, they're upset and they're angry and they want to walk in front of a car, walk into the cars or walk onto the motorway or something like that. And we're trying to stop the person. This is what most people do, try and get past me. Hey, 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 no, stop, stop. Come on, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, and most people will be running backwards and forwards like that until eventually she'd get past me. And I'd be going, hey, 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 and all that sort of stuff. We don't want to go, we don't want to go into the old left, left and right, okay, and back again. We don't want to be doing all that, going backwards and forwards. We want to get control of this person um, ASAP to stop them from hurting themselves, okay? She might go out on the motorway, get herself run over, some of the people coming down on that car, or those cars, might swerve to miss her and crash and have an accident as well. So we're protecting them as well. It's the same if she was to jump off the, off the bridge or um, off, off a building and fall down and hit someone below her. She's going to hurt them. So we're trying to protect them as well. Okay? So let's say she's trying to get past. Okay? All right? The first thing I want to be doing, go so try and get past, is, is I want to be grabbing her about here on her arms okay and as she tries to push push past or push into me okay i want to turn her okay so again she's coming coming through okay into here all right so what am i doing as she's coming towards me we'll go from the back here as she's coming towards me and she's pushing into me okay i want to be let her go in a, a certain way, or let, let her start going a certain way, and as she goes, I want to be stepping out to her side, okay, and slowly going, moving around behind her. We talked about position. I'm in her centre here, she's in mine. As I let her go past me, I'm moving around to her back. My left hand here comes under her lower back, and my other arm just stays over her chest area here, just below her throat. And as she keeps pushing forward, bang, okay? She's actually letting me take her balance, okay? So we'll go from this side here. She's trying to get past me, okay? I want to be get, get my hands on here, okay? And as she's trying to get past, right here, all right? And we take the person, all right? Another way of doing it if they're not pushing into us. Okay, let's say she's trying to get, wanting to go walk on the road. I'm going, you can't walk on the road. Can't let you do that. No, no, come on, stay back. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's say she's not trying to push past me now. Okay, but she's standing right in front of me. All right, she's, come, come closer. Let's say she's standing in front of me. Okay, I can't let you do it. Okay. Your life is important. Okay, just keep telling me that you're going to. I'm going. No, no, yeah, come I'm on, not. come on, come on. 
Hey, you don't want to do this, okay? You don't know what I want. I do. Come on. No. Calm down. No. All right? Calm down. No. All right, come on. Okay, here we are. Okay? So, what are we doing here? <clears throat> Forgot the person directly in front of us. Yes, we're in a bit of a danger zone here because they might take a swing. So we need to be ready for that, okay? I've already covered what to do in case somebody tries to take a swing at you, a punch at you, or whatever, okay? We need to be aware at all times, okay? Ready to react in quick time, okay? Now, what are we doing here? We're trying to get our hands about here, around about where their shoulders are, okay? Again, the body of the human is vertical, okay? We want to get as close to the top as we can, okay? Here all we're doing is we're pushing one shoulder and turning the other shoulder towards us and turning their centre around and then taking their balance. Just try and stand up. Very hard. Okay, we'll come around to this side. Where they can see from this side. Same thing again. The person's here. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, and to here. Okay, so again. It's just a simple push and pull, right? We're pushing with one hand, pulling with the other, okay? And we're simply turning them, okay? Uh, quite a good one for security. Uh, when you're dealing with somebody that's drunk and aggressive um, and they're up, they've, they've gotten up in your face and you're thinking, you know what? This person's close. Let's say I was up against a wall, same sort of thing, okay? Similar, and the person was come up, okay? The person's come up, they're drunk and aggressive, and it's the same sort of technique that we can use here. Where we've got a wall behind us, yes, we could start to move, okay, but if we decide the person's here, hey, 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 you right? Okay, and then just turn them, all right? Um, <clears throat> where you're reacting, because they've already given them, they've already come close enough for you to um, go into defensive mode, okay? It's better to go into defensive mode than to move and... Um, uh, put yourself in more danger Okay, what I mean by that we'll just quickly just through this really quickly if she was here this person came up and I was had the wall behind me Here it's hard for her to get full power and try and hit me. Okay, if I was to move here I'm really moving into a place where she can really get that power going because she's got more uh, distance Okay, she's got more distance Okay, so here it's hard because I'm in close. I might be close. She can't really get that main power in. But as I move away a bit, along the wall here, I'm moving into a place where she's got a little bit more space that she's going to get more, more inertia and power in there. As soon as I move a little bit further away, I, go, I start going into a safe zone again. So here, I'm safer here, right, than I am right here. She's going to get more power, and I'm, but I'm really safe here. So sometimes when a person's in real close like this, we want to re take that opportunity. They've already closed the gap. They've already closed the distance. Okay, we want to take that. Um, and that's the same when we're dealing with this person that's wanting to do self-harm. They're already here, okay? It's harder for them to try and hit us here with power. Okay, they can hit us easy, but with power it's harder because we're up close. Okay, so we can take the person right here and then. Okay, so there's... Uh, Let's say, for example, three things where we can uh, a person might be uh, wanting to commit um, self-harm to themselves, okay, where it's uh, potentially suicidal, um, and we, we, we want to stop them. So if the person's unarmed, it's not too much of a biggie. Uh, if it's um, a person with a weapon, a sharp weapon or sharp instrument, okay, it becomes more uh, dangerous for us, and we need to consider whether we can handle it or not, okay? But there's one there for, what's the first one we, we're doing? Um, jumping off a, um, a rooftop, um, trying to cut themselves, okay? All right, and obviously with the, um, another one is with the, uh, trying to walk out onto a road or something like that. It happens quite a bit, okay? Um, remember, just like, um, Restraining somebody with um, uh, that's doing uh, willful damage or intentional damage, we can attack them from behind as well, okay, to stop them, okay. Uh, if if she had that 
glass. Let's say she's got the glass here. Okay. All right, just imagine she's standing here. If I could get close to her without her being aware that I'm here, I could say to somebody else, you know, hey, look, you get her attention in front of her, get her talking, and I'll come in behind, I'll try and get behind and take the person out. Okay, if I can see where the, where the weapon is, so I can see the weapon's in her uh, right hand at this moment, okay, and I want to come in with my left foot forward, okay, sneaking in down her centre, we've covered in the last video, and come around, grab her, lock the hand up, pull it back, okay, she can't stab me from this point here, okay, so I'll come through quickly. Drop it. Drop it, drop it, okay. Now, let's imagine that she's got it again. Okay, she's spinning around. And we'll get into this position here, okay? And I've got her here, and I tell, tell her, go, try and stab me, go. No, actually try to, try. Try as hard as you can. She can't, okay? So, it's really important that we get control of that weapon hand. So yes, you can do it, but you've got to be really careful. The most important thing is if somebody does have a sharp weapon, if, uh, is to get control of that weapon hand, okay? It's really important. Don't just try and take their balance. You need to get control of that weapon hand. Um, and so that, that particular technique I just showed you is a really good one. It doesn't matter what kind of weapon they've got, they're gonna drop it instantly. I'm only using like, I don't know, maybe half power, okay? If she had a sharp weapon like that, it would be full power, okay? And it'll be dropped instantly, and then from there she's no longer a major threat to me. I'd move her away from the uh, weapon, okay, that she's using. Move her away from the weapon, place her on the ground somewhere, um, and take the pressure off, okay? You don't need to continue the same amount of pressure at that point, okay? Make sure you're telling the person you're there to help them. I'm trying to help you. It's okay. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. Reassure them. Okay. Uh, really important. Okay. And obviously, we need to get them to uh, medical help uh, as soon as possible, so they can be seen and cared for. All right. I'm not trying to hurt them. We're trying to help them. Okay. But don't. Most important thing: safety first. Look after your own safety. Don't put your own safety in jeopardy. Okay. Uh, unless you think you can handle it safely. Okay. Use numbers if you can, get back up, okay? Get the people in there with the tools to do the job, okay? Uh, if you don't have the tools, you're limited to what you can do with these here, okay? That's about all you can do, okay, and this, all right? Um, hopefully that's helped. Hopefully you've all enjoyed all the videos that we've done. Teresa? Teresa? I'd just like to thank Teresa for all the video help that she's done as well, okay? <laughs> okay thank you Teresa much appreciated um, and we'll see you on the next video thanks for coming along by all means share any of the videos you wish to like subscribe and uh, thumbs up take care bye bye